Okay, so the main part of this UI is the sliding effect. So if we slide like this, it is going to resize. So we have our main target to build this one. We have category of cats, category of dog, category of parrots, you can say birds basically. We have few rabbits. If we go click anyone, then it is going to look like this. So today we are going to build this design with our animation. So if you are the left, then it is going to be like this and we have different screens that is also going to work seamlessly similarly so let's see how we are going to build this UI in flutter so we are inside our main dot dot First we are going to disable our debug switch panel and then continue with our default theme and title. Then we are going to add a home which will be our main background drawer. Along with that we are going to add a multi provider which is going to have our main background provider which will be just empty class with change notifier for now. now uh, coming to our main drawer class we are inside the build method we declare a variable for a provider then a media query variable with a size variable to determine the size then inside the scaffold we are going to have a single child scroll view with a physics of never scrollable physics and keyboard will be a dismissible on drag after this we are going to add a stack and inside this stack we are going to have a container with a padding and our size widgets then we are going to apply color which will be our dark green which is coming from this file after saving we can see the dark green color inside the container which applied to entire screen which is good now uh, we are going to add a column to a container and we are going to build the top section of the widget and then we are having a padding of 20 vertical then add a row and inside this row we are going to have a profile image widget so it is going to take margin image url and we are going to create something like this add a column inside a row so first text which is going to be the name then the status inside the text and now go to top add a spacer and we are going to generate a list so list is going to consist of a menu button list which i have already created in the top and uh, we have class for menu button which is this simple class which is holding a title icon and it is selected or not inside the list generator we are going to declare a variable and we are going to create a custom list so I just pass title icons and is selected in on tab First, we are going to make all menu item is selected to false and then only selected index where we are going to click it is going to be true. So in this manner we are going to select and deselect. So inside custom list we are having a list tile with icon and it is having a selected parameter to determine the color and then we have a title which is the text and on tap callback that's all for this with this on saving we are able to see this list on the left now add a spacer after the list generator and then we are going to create a bottom section in this uh, we are going to have padding first then inside the row we are going to have an icon for settings then add a size box for a space and a text of setting then a vertical divider and uh, to have this vertical divider we have to wrap this with a size box then add a text for a logout so with this we are pretty much done with the background screen now scroll to the top and inside the init state add this line restart the app first uh, menu adoption will be selected by default 
and on clicking we can see and on clicking we can see and by restarting it will be the first one selected I scroll down and after the first container of the stack we are going to create another container with these parameter and inside it we are going to have a pet adoption screen which we will create next so this is a pet adoption screen with a stateful widget and inside this we are having a column empty column and we just declare a variable which is holding our current index now add a variable for our provider and a media query variable for size okay now inside our children we are going to create a top six so first we are going to add a padding and uh, then a row and inside the row we are going to have a drawer button widget so now create a drawer button widget so we are inside drawer button widget class and over here we are having six default variables which we are going to need now we are going to return a infill and with this on tap top we are going to have a toggle for store open and it is coming from our provider class which is this now we are going to add a size box and in such size box we are going to have a column with main axis alignment space only then we are going to add a line so which we are going to create now and it is going to take size parameter as well as width and with the help of container we are going to design this line and now we have this icon or drawer now go back to top section and we are going to add a column and inside column we are going to have a text for location with size box then add a row for location with location icon and a text yeah now add a ink well and ignore the on tap for now we are going to have a child which is our profile image widget which we have created earlier now after the top section we are going to add expanded with a container so it is going to be our main body and over there we are having a text field and just add the icons in prefix and suffix and apply fill color to true with white color now we are going to create a list of buttons pet buttons which is coming from this particular model over this file we are having all the details which we are going to need for this particular button now this pet button widget is going to take image is selected and title so let's create this widget and it is having a size variable and inside a column we are going to have a container with particular size then add a decoration for this and on saving we are able to see this kind of buttons after this add an image which is coming from our model and add a padding with a text below this okay now we are going to work with the pet screen so we have this particular pet class and then we have all the details for bunnies cats dogs and rabbits so all details are listed in this model which we are going to use for our ui now we are going to create a list view builder 
and inside this window we are going to create a function which is going to give the current pet selected and just add a gesture descriptor on that we are going to have an on tap is going to take us to the pet details screen which is uh, empty for now and we are going to work on this screen now add a pet card and we are going to create this so inside pet card we are accepting our model and a color we have taken a stack and inside this stack i have added a container and this container is having a particular size which is important for our design with margin and decoration after saving this we are able to see our card now add a row with expanded the red expanded is going to have a empty space folder and second green expanded is going to have the details now we are going to have a row and expanded with a text and an icon inside that row after that row we are going to add another text field for breed and then we are going to add the age of the pet in form of text and then we are going to add another row for location and distance after that we are going to work on the left side where we are going to display the image and here we have applied the color to the container and then we have a size box which is going to have the image so now our pet adoption screen is ready and we are able to see the details now we are going to create a pet detail screen for this so we are inside the pet detail screen where we are accepting the same background color and the pet model so inside this scaffold we are going to have a column then a stack with a container and that container is going to have a decoration which is going to give us uh, this beautiful background and inside that we are going to place the image and then safe area we are going to add a padding then a row and inside that row we are having icon for back and share after that we are going to add a container with a position and inside this container we are going to have a shadow then the text pet name with gender add another row with breed and age then add the distance with location icon with another row then after that stack add a list type which is going to have a leading of image then title a subtitle and in trailing the date after that a small description with a spacer and now we are going to add bottom area for buttons first button will be elevated button with a favorite icon and another button is going to be the elevated button with adoption text and just add this styling and our detail screen is almost done now go back to our main drawer screen and scroll down where we have added a container container to display the pet adopt adoption screen now we are going to remove this and add a resize widget which we are going to build now and it is the screen 
which is going to help us to resize the entire screen and make make the background visible for option now in this resize widget we are having the basic uh, provider and size class first we are going to return a animated position and inside this we are going to we are going to pass the left position and top position then bottom and the duration of this and all the all these parameters are calculated once then we are going to add a fitted box with animated container which is going to have a duration a clip behavior and a padding from a top now add the decoration and that decoration is going to have a shadow for background effect then add the height and width and a gesture detector so this gesture detector is important so we have option of horizon on horizontal drag end it is going to give us the details and with the, this details we are going to check whether we are scrolling in horizontal or not based on that we are going to set the open drawer to true or false with after saving this we can see here it is working and same is going to work from the top menu button which we have designed so both are working as expected